No Project Miniseries Part 12. Get good at small. We've been talking about how the project model is optimized for big, and because we're working in the big, it creates some problems, specifically around value and around risk. The solution is to get good at small and optimize ourselves for working in the small. Think small. Get good at doing things in the small. This means we need to change some of the ways our organizations are set up because our organizations are predicated on the basis of big, on the idea of economies of scale. We need to exploit this economies of scale, therefore we need to get good at small. Get good at small, optimise your work for small. Get good at putting in small pieces of work and getting small results and repeating very fast. So, to start off with, get good at breaking work down. We recognise we need to break work down and replace big pieces of work with lots of small pieces of work, small pieces of work flow, flow through the system more easily. Small pieces of work allow us to track progress. Small pieces of work de-risk us. Small pieces of work increase value. But we need to get good at doing small. We don't just get we just don't get lots of small pieces of work by just saying so. We need to practice working in the small and rid ourselves of this big thinking. This is what lean people refer to as batch size. In the old world. We used to say, build this. And while we're building, we'd wait. And then we'd deliver all of this. And we'd wait a little while. And then we'd get really rich. We'd get lots of money. Actually, old world, we're not doing that anymore. We're going to go for small batch size. So we do a little bit. We deliver a little bit. We get a little bit of money. Deliver a little bit. Do a bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more money. Get, get rich slowly. And keep going. Small pieces of work. Small deliveries. Small amounts of money. Optimize yourself for small. Many of today's organizations aren't optimized for small. Think of Google. How does Google make its money? Google makes money one click at a time. Many of those clicks on the AdWords are bringing in a few cents each time. If they didn't have a model as efficient at doing small, they wouldn't be able to make the money they do. And Google makes some quite big money, as I recall. This means we need to push authority down to the people doing the work. Earlier on, we talked about how the project model utilizes big decisions made by important people at the top of the organization. We're doing lots of small things. We need to make a lot of small decisions on a very regular, very timely basis. That means we need to push the authority to make those decisions down to the people who are doing the work. That implies that we're going to trust the people who are doing the work, trust the workers to do a good job. That also implies the people who are at the top, the people who are managing, need to set a good example by doing a good job themselves and by encouraging good work. Trust the people to do a good job. Build in feedback mechanisms. Build in feedback loops for governance and for learning. Adjust as you go along. This means we need to accept that not everything will work out the way we hope. And especially at the start, this is going to be particularly difficult. But we'll keep learning and we'll keep changing and we know failures will happen. We need to accept that in our mindset. Ideally, we'd like to fail fast, fail cheap. When we've failed, we'll salvage some learning, we'll salvage some artifacts, maybe some code, maybe some documents, maybe some customer contacts. We'll salvage what we can, we learn something, and we'll, to use the jargon, pivot. We'll move on to the next thing. We'll, we'll go move on that. I, and at this point, I'm sure any project managers who've been watching the series will want to object to some of what I've been saying. So we're going to deal with our objections next. Objection, not fair, coming up in a moment. 